Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, good afternoon and uh, ohayo gozaimas uh, for the Takasu, Takasu Sensei. Uh, I just want to refresh us uh, for the anatomy uh, of the vascularisasi in the uh, anastomosis, not for the uh, to give a lecture, uh, honestly. Then uh, we start. Uh, please, uh, uh, admin. Uh, We cannot share the screen. Okay. Nah, nah. Bilang lah. Cepat sikit. Bising banget. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Eh. Uh, uh, we just give, uh, I just give uh, for the refresh from the cerebral vascularization, anatomy, and vascular pattern. And uh, as we know, next year. Okay. As we know, uh, the cerebral uh, vascular is really circle with the. Uh, uh, divide the carotid and vertebral ciliar. In the carotid artery, we already know about the anterior cerebral artery and medial cerebral, uh, which is uh, the vertebral basilar is uh, for the posterior artery. And the, in the anterior flow, uh, there is a divided and the, from the A2 until A5. They say from the big to the smaller one. Next. For the medial flow, uh, we already know that uh, it starts from the M1, the biggest one, to the, until the M4 in the surface uh, uh, brain. Next. In the posterior flow, uh, there's a PCA uh, from the P1 uh, in the biggest one until the P4. And there's uh, SGA, ICA, and PICA. Next. There's a many type of the bypass. Uh, we uh, divide it from the flow, that is uh, standard flow or the uh, low flow is uh, about a 20 until 70 milliliter per minute. Uh, the common technique is uh, from the STA to MCA or to the PCA or the uh, anterior or to the STA or the PCA or from the meningeal medial artery to MCA, uh, or uh, from the occipital artery to the SGA or the PCA. And the other is uh, intermediate uh, flow, that's a uh, 60 until 100 milliliter per minute. Uh, common technique uh, is uh, from the external, external uh, HR to the M2 or 3, or to the A2 or 3, or the P2 or P3. It's a direct end to side or side to end. Uh, and there is a multiple inflammation or Y bypass. It means Y bypass, it, uh, it means uh, the intermediate flow. Uh, if we make a Y bypass, uh, double bypass, it make a, a high, high flow. Double double anastomosis, and the high flow uh, is a uh, hundred until two hundred uh, milliliter per minute. Uh, common technique is uh, from the H to M one or M two, or the P one or two uh, two or the A one or two. Uh, it should be uh, uh, use the graph is the saphenous vein or radial artery. If we use the saphenous vein, we should uh, make a result reverse or we make a phosphorectomy for that uh, vein. But it's uh, quite uh, uh, difficult to make uh, the graph free flap uh, uh, make a survive. And the others from the internal uh, carotis to internal carotis, 
the common technique is M2 to any vessel. Uh, and we can use the radial artery graph or the saponous vein graph. Or in situ, from the pica to pica, or from the A1 uh, to the A1, or A2 to the A2, or A3 to A3, it deep, uh, is dependent on the operator and the needed. And uh, that's a MCA reanastomosis. Uh, for the diameter, uh, it's uh, quite uh, various, but uh, the, 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 we should know that the donor and the recipient, we should uh, make uh, uh, not a, a big uh, differences between uh, them. So we make a, a, a conjunction, uh, both of them, uh, I mean, uh, uh, with a similar. And next, uh, if we uh, talk about the graph type, uh, we can use, uh, I mean, the free plate, we can use uh, STA or the occipital artery. Uh, it's uh, for the low flow, uh, it's about 15 until 25 milliliter per minute. Uh, there is a only one anastomosis, but for the uh, SCA, we can uh, make a Y anastomosis or double anastomosis to make uh, the high flu. And then the uh, graph potency is uh, very good, uh, about uh, 95%. And uh, Suzuki Sensei uh, is a very uh, talent for that kind. And only 20 uh, minutes for uh, this operation. Uh, even that's a double anastomosis. And uh, the other is a free flap, is a radial uh, artery. Uh, it's flow about uh, 40 until uh, 70 milliliter per minute. Uh, that's a psychology conduct for the artery blood, easy to half, to lumen size as closely approximately uh, for the M2 or P1 and there's a reduced flow mismatch. But uh, this expenses is, uh, is high risk too for the vasospasm because of the free plate. Uh, it's uh, uh, quite similar with the saponous vein, but it's more um, uh, difficult because if we use the saponous vein, we should uh, reverse and we should uh, make, uh, sometimes we should make the vasulectomy to make a graph. And uh, thrombosis risk is uh, very uh, high uh, due to the mismatch. Uh, and the graph potency in the talent uh, operation is only 82%. So uh, most of the operator is uh, prefer to the uh, SCA uh, anastomosis for the, the other uh, anything uh, enough. Next. And the technique for the uh, make anastomosis is uh, should be efforting technique. It means the inner to inner uh, to make a, a conjunction. Uh, should be make a, how, how to make a um, uh, sub, uh, union. Then uh, we can use that uh, for the end to end or side to end. Uh, how to make an end to end because sometimes it's, uh, for example, like a STA is smaller than the M4. So, uh, to make a, a quite good, uh, we can make a fish mode for that kind of uh, uh, anastomosis. Next. And uh, anastomosis is uh, divided uh, direct and indirect. Indirect as a uh, external carot uh, cerebral to internal cerebral bypass. Uh, uh, at the uh, NIC, IC bypass. And uh, in the AC and IC bypass, uh, they have a high flow, for example, for the medial circulation, that we can see that the uh, Pictures the uh, the graph from the external carotid to the uh, M two 
uh, almost M2 or M3. Sometimes uh, uh, some operation can make uh, and the M1, but um, it's quite difficult. Then uh, the other, uh, from the procedural circulation, uh, uh, we can make uh, from the HR to PCA. Uh, uh, Dr. Susi, Dr. Susi. Yeah. Yep. Uh, itu di atasnya ada mungkin bisa meminimalkan zoomnya. Di atasnya ada sedikit terhapus. Uh, Dr. Rifai, coba diterangin gimana? Rifai. Halo. Uh, ya, Dokter. Uh, itu ada layar ke atasnya. Menghapusnya uh, gimana? Izin, Dokter. Uh, sudah, Dokter. Uh, okay, bisa diterang agak ke bawah lagi, Dokter. Dokter Suzi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, next, please okay. continue. Okay, next. Uh, for the love law. Uh, uh, okay. Dejo vu. Dr. Aprianto, dejo vu. Oh yeah. Uh, it's okay, okay. 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 And uh, we continue for the B low flow. The common and the, the favorite uh, anastomosis is SPA MCS because it's very easy. Uh, I mean, uh, the good view and uh, is uh, quite a comfortable uh, position for the patient and for the operator for use it. And uh, even there's a low flow, but if make a, a double anastomosis or, or why as anastomosis like the, this picture. We can make uh, the anastomosis uh, uh, high flow, uh, like this. Uh, we can make uh, from the front frontal branch and to the parietal branch. It's double anastomosis. It can make a high flow. Next, and then uh, the other is uh, from uh, meningeal medial artery to MCA. Uh, this uh, this technique. But uh, honestly, I never seen uh, life surgery uh, just that like the, this operation. Uh, uh, so that I cannot uh, make uh, any uh, opinion about this uh, this op uh, procedure next. And then uh, the others is uh, from the SCA to uh, PCA, and uh, or the SCA to SCA. Next. The other in the OA, occipital artery to AICA. So uh, there is uh, not free flap, but this uh, pedicle flap or with the rotation flap. Or uh, SCA to AICA. Some uh, operation, uh, operat uh, some, uh, operation uh, using for the oper uh, operator technique, they use the STA to the posterior circulation. It depends on of the uh, uh, operator technique. Next, uh, the others uh, OA to PICA. Next, and uh, the ICIC is, uh, for example, like a PCA to SGA and to site. Next, uh, or the PCA to PCA is a uh, uh, site to site uh, of uh, anastomosis. Uh, that's a uh, in situ next and indirect uh, anastomosis uh, revascularization is uh, usually this uh, uh, performed to pediatric uh, in the moya moya disease uh, because uh, a pediatric uh, patient is a uh, smaller uh, vessel than the uh, the adult one but uh, the suzuki sensei is very uh, talent and very dramatically uh, to make operation for the pediatric uh, moya moya disease with the direct STA um, uh, uh, MCA anastomosis double uh, anastomosis why anastomosis then and the result is very uh, gorgeous uh, in the Japan set uh, seberasi uh, and uh, the method of the indirect revascularization, uh, uh, one is EDAS, 
encephalo dura artery synergiosis. It means it uh, we can make a, an osmosis uh, with the brain, dura, and artery, uh, three of them, uh, and we put in the brain, uh, dura artery and artery. Uh, you can see uh, the, the picture next. And the other is uh, EMS encephalomyosinagogiosis. Uh, and uh, you, you, we can see that uh, that's only uh, uh, make uh, from uh, muscular, uh, temporal muscular uh, to make uh, uh, um, uh, anasomosis. I mean, uh, to make uh, a new uh, vascularization grow after uh, surgery. Next. And the other is uh, encephalo duro arterio myosinagiosis. Uh, we can see that uh, we use the duro and arterio and uh, uh, muscle. Myo. muscle. That it means uh, muscle. And that means this uh, all of uh, the, the kind of the um, uh, um, equipment put together there, uh, so there's a kind of a, a, a technique, a little bit. Uh, uh, next, and encephalo uh, uh, duro facio arterio pericranial synagiosis is a plus uh, pericranial uh, put it together there. Uh, honestly, um, I see uh, for the sad case of the anastomosis indirect and the uh, uh, free flap, uh, I saw in the other center, I mean, near Dai, Nagoya. I forgot the small uh, city when I visit uh, the professor, uh, perform that for the um, aneurysm um, uh, operation. For the flip flap, they use radial and they use uh, uh, radial uh, vena saponus. Then uh, for this uh, operation, uh, they use for the pediatric uh, operation because uh, in the small city when I visit them, they are said that uh, they don't need uh, they don't uh, uh, to to patient to make uh, STMCA anastomosis in the infant or in the baby. So they put uh, indirect anastomosis for the uh, replacement. Next. Okay, uh, for the result, uh, for the direct one, uh, we can see the donor vessel is enlargement after operation. But for the uh, indirect uh, anastomosis, we can see new vascularization like a smooth one. Uh, it means uh, there is a, a more uh, vascularization after the we perform operation, and that uh, when before operation we can see that PET scan or the MR spec uh, uh, make uh, like a hypoxy in the death scan uh, area. After operation, we can uh, uh, compare that uh, af uh, after operation. There is uh, no more hypoxy anymore in the subject of the area. Next. Summary, um, bypass indication, uh, chronic cerebral ischemia, uh, congenital, like a moya moya disease. Uh, for the tumor, uh, in, I mean, uh, tumor who uh, attached to the uh, a main uh, artery uh, and the aneurysm of uh, especially aneurysm who need uh, we clip the parent uh, uh, artery uh, and we should uh, we should make uh, anastomosis to replace the uh, vascular. Then uh, or in the uh, geriatric one we uh, for the ischemic stroke and anastomosis is uh, can uh, make a, like a direct or indirect. And uh, is uh, depend on the uh, the operator uh, thing. It uh, needs a high flow or low flow. 
Uh, and uh, the donor, uh, we can uh, use the from the free plate in radial artery and vena saponus. Uh, radial artery and vena saponus, we can make until 20 centimeters. And uh, for the rotation pedicle flap, uh, we can uh, use the STA, superficial temporal artery, uh, or occipital artery. And the recipient, all the circles will see. And the common uh, bypass is STA, MCA, anastomosis, uh, because it's accessibility and patency. Uh, and double flow anastomosis mean high flow. Uh, for example, and the common one is SCA, MCA anastomosis. And the result is uh, for the direct one, uh, we can see the donor facial enlargement after operation and we can compare before and after operation. Uh, so that's why uh, when I uh, 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 result in the Suzuki since operation, uh, I got permission uh, from him to uh, to to give uh, the result that um, one of the successful from from the operation that uh, from the SCMC anastomosis as the STA enlargement after operation. Uh, and uh, this very uh, good uh, picture of the Suzuki uh, uh, operation uh, performed an MRI uh, is very uh, uh, big different uh, enlargement. And the result is um, for the indirect is new vascularization. We can see like uh, in the Moya Moya, this is like a smoke one, a very uh, many uh, new vascularization after we put at the indirect uh, uh, donor uh, to the uh, anastomosis. Okay, next. Arigato gozaimasu. Hi, arigato gozaimasu. Nice picture. This is Takashi Sensei give me, right? Hi. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Susi Sensei. Uh, I will uh, introduce uh, to participant uh, the Dr. Susi is now is uh, training program director in uh, Department of Neurosurgery, uh, North Sumatra University. He also uh, alumni fellow of Suzuki, maybe about 2000 and 2000, Eight. 2008, yeah, 2008. Eight. Okay. 2006. Oh, 2006. Okay, uh, next we uh, hear the lecture uh, from the Dr. Takasu. Dr. Takasu now is a uh, neurosurgeon and cerebrovascular uh, surgery section in Department of Neurosurgery, uh, Daini Records Hospital. Daini Records Hospital is an uh, affiliated hospital uh, from the Nagoya University. He, many, he did uh, many, many uh, announcement surgery and so uh, also uh, performed the bypass, many, many bypass in Nagoya, I see it. Okay, times, uh, Times for you, uh, Sensei, please. Okay. Uh, okay, you can see, that's right. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, konnichiwa. Uh, konnichiwa. I'm, glad to, I'm glad to see you again after a long time. Uh, Dr. Prianto, uh, thank you for giving the uh, opportunity of a presentation at Dr. Suzuki. Memorial lecture. And Dr. Suji, uh, thank you for detailed uh, lecture about the uh, anatomy of cerebral arteries. Uh, now, uh, today, uh, I present about uh, revascularization and bypass technique in aneurysms and cerebral vascular disease. Uh, uh, our 
Our hospital, uh, Japanese Red Cross Nagoya Daini Hospital, located in the middle of Japan. Uh, the name, as uh, a nickname of our hospital is Yagoto Niseki. That is also uh, the name of subway station. Hi. <laughs> Uh, our department, uh, six neurosurgeons and four residents. Uh, we have two teams. Uh, one is cerebral vascular team, uh, Bronx me, and uh, another endoscopic team. Uh, last year, uh, we did uh, 566 surgeries, including 32 creeping surgery and 55 anastomosis and also uh, 42 uh, tumor resection uh, with craniotomy and 45 transphenoidal surgery uh, by endoscopic. Uh, first, uh, I lecture about the uh, revascularization for mama disease. Uh, now I, I follow six senses well, uh, I performing uh, Revascularization surgery for myeloma disease. Uh, this is a uh, number of sub surgery for myeloma disease in my hospital. Uh, 1999, uh, Suzuki Sensei joined our department and start uh, surgery for myeloma disease. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, 2008, Suzuki Sensei passed away. And in 2011, uh, I moved to another hospital. And then I came back uh, to our department at 2015. Uh, now uh, I did uh, more than 40 cases per year for Moema disease. Uh, this is our concept uh, for surgery for Moema disease. Uh, as Dr. Suji says, uh, that is two uh, methods of uh, bypass surgery. Uh, one is direct bypass. Uh, this is uh, STA-MCA direct anastomosis. Uh, this achieved uh, rapid improvement, improvement of CBF. Uh, but one problem is, uh, uh, is a narrow range of uh, improvement uh, because uh, in my patient, uh, there is lack of network between ACA and MCA because uh, uh, in my mind disease, the terminal portion of ICA was occluded. So uh, improvement is very narrow by only direct bypass. Uh, in direct bypass, uh, such as EMS or e EDAS, uh, that it takes uh, more than one month until collateral flow is developed. But uh, uh, using many tissues, uh, we can do wide improvement of CBF covering both ACA and MCA territories. So I did, uh, we did a combined bypass surgery uh, uh, direct bypass and the indirect bypass was performed simultaneously. Uh, it achieved rapid and wide improvement of CBF in myeloma disease. <clears throat> uh, then uh, I introduced our history and tradition of our method of combined bypass surgery. Uh, until 2006, uh, I did uh, combined bypass surgery like this. Uh, we made uh, our skin incision just above uh, two branches of STA and made a uh, middle size of craniotomy. And one branch of STA was uh, directly anastomosis to MCA. And another branch uh, is using for uh, indi indirect anastomosis, uh, so-called EDAS. And temporal muscle uh, was used for EMS. And then uh, another skin incision and another small craniotomy was made 
and uh, we do a uh, eGPS. Uh, it is indirect bypass using Galea and Periclanium. Uh, uh, but in 2007, uh, we modified the method of surgery uh, in order to make wider direct bypass covering ACA territory. Uh, we made skin incision extended to midline and made large craniotomy like this. And one branch of STA, uh, usually a parietal branch of STA was used for uh, direct bypass. And white uh, galea and the uh, pericranium uh, uh, was used for di uh, indirect bypass covering ACA and MC territory. And also using temporal muscle uh, for EMS. Uh, so, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, I checked the uh, uh, result of two methods. Uh, one, uh, first period of is 49 patients, and second period, we have two, uh, 23 cases. Uh, this is a table of post operative complications. Uh, in first period, uh, <coughs> Uh, sorry, uh, the, the instance of postoperative uh, transneurological events, uh, this is including TIA and uh, hyperperfusion syndrome. Uh, this was significantly higher in patients operated in the second period. And there was a ten, also tendency that the postoperative cerebral, cerebral infarction occurred more frequently in the second period. Uh, on the other hand, uh, long-term outcome is uh, same result in both groups. Uh, we analyze, analyze this result. Uh, wider indirect, indirect anastomosis needs large craniotomy, uh, sorry, large craniotomy and more amount of Galea and pericranium. Uh, large craniotomy needs more surgical invasion, and that takes more time and more bleeding. And the excess amount of galea and pericranium uh, compressed ischemic brain tissue. Uh, so this result, so this resulting more frequent postoperative complications. Uh, so. Uh, we also uh, modified uh, surgery since 2016. Uh, and, <clears throat> and it, uh, uh, we made a skin incision not extended to midline and made a medium, medium size of craniotomy at the MC territory. And one branch of ST was anastomosis, anastomosis directory, and another branch used for indirect anastomosis. And temporal mass was used for EMS. And uh, uh, inside the same skin incision, I made another small cranial to me, and uh, uh, using pericranium, uh, we did uh, indirect anastomosis. And uh, this is uh, uh, the video of surgery in, in decent style. Uh, this is two years old girl with my disease. Uh, this is skin incision. And this is craniotomy. <clears throat> uh, at first, uh, I cut the uh, skin just above the Pietal branch of STA and uh, dissect the vital uh, branch of STA and also uh, separate the frontal branch from skin flap. Here, uh, this is frontal branch of STA at here. And uh, this is pericranium flap. And this is uh, temporal muscle. 
Now this is pericranium uh, pedicle flap. <clears throat> and cut the uh, temporal muscle and uh, made me medium size of craniotomy at the MCA territory, like this. Now this is MMA. MMA is also an uh, important source of indirect anastomosis. Uh, so cut the dura mater. <clears throat> and this is Sylvian fissure. And so I decided to make an anastomosis to the frontal branch, uh, sorry, uh, MCA at frontal lobe. Uh, this is MCA. Uh, it is less than one millimeter, about 0 0.8 millimeter. And this is STA, uh, frontal branch of STA. Also, this is one millimeter. Uh, this is temporal, cri temporal clip. Uh, <clears throat> and cut the MCA. Uh, the wall of MCA is very thin and fragile, even in adult patient. So uh, take care to the uh, cut MCA and do not grasp the pincet, uh, by pincet. Uh, using uh, pioctani uh, visualized MCA uh, wall of MCA. Uh, I usually use 10 0 nylon, but uh, this is two years old. So uh, this case, I used 11 0 nylon. Uh, at first, made, uh, make uh, stay suture. Uh, and then uh, makes uh, four or five suture uh, at one, one side. So totally uh, 10 or 12 suture was made usually. Uh, after the cramping and after hemostasis, uh, the cramp the uh, STA. The flow from STA to MCA is very good. And after, after anastomosis, uh, we usually check uh, patency by ICG angiogram. Uh, after the direct anastomosis, uh, we did the indirect anastomosis. Uh, here, uh, this is EMS using uh, temporal muscle in a layer of temporal muscle. And here is uh, indirect anastomosis using pericranium. And this is also uh, indirect anastomosis using parietal, parietal branch of STA. Um, the, uh, the layer of temporal muscle was sutured here. Uh, and this is absorbable uh, plate and the screws uh, we use for pediatric cases. And I made a small, another craniotomy at the ACA territory and also made a, uh, indirect bypass using pericranium. Hmm. This is final view. Uh, and this is head MRA uh, after bilateral surgery. Uh, in uh, the STA, the direct bypass of STA is very, uh, is developing. Uh, we can see uh, usually in adult patient, especially a hemorrhagic onset. 
And this is a, a, a MRA uh, of pediatric patient. This is after bilateral surgery, uh, not only STA, uh, MMA, and deep temporal artery was developing well. And the uh, moema uh, vessels, small collateral vessels was uh, disappeared. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, and also uh, we take care about the uh, cosmetic problems. Uh, this is adult cases. Uh, we cut, uh, sorry, uh, we cut here just about skin incision. So if the patient fem is female and have long hair, uh, skin incision does not stand out at this church. And this is our long-term result, uh, more than uh, 10 years. Uh, both pediatric patient and the adult patient, uh, more uh, uh, about 90% of patient is independent. And also uh, more than 90% of the patient uh, experienced no recurrence. And the annual uh, recurrent rate of a pediatric patient is 0.29%. And also in adult case, uh, annual recurrent rate is 0.5%. And this is take home message. Uh, combined revascularization surgery covering both ACA and MCA territories effectively achieved good long-term outcomes in patients with Moema disease. Appropriate indirect anastomosis range must be considered to avoid postoperative ischemic complications. And the next topic is bypass technique in aneurysms. Uh, bypass technique is required in several situations of aneurysm, aneurysmal surgery. Uh, I explained around four situations. <clears throat> At first, a large or giant ICA aneurysm of cavernous portion. Uh, we usually do, uh, for this case, uh, trapping with high flow bypass or STA, MCA, double anastomosis. Uh, this is ICA giant aneurysm of cavernous portion. Uh, 60 years old female, uh, incidental and lactured aneurysm, no symptom. Uh, we usually perform a balloon occlusion test before surgery. Uh, after ipsilateral ICA is occluded by balloon, uh, if su sufficient collateral circulation is observed and uh, uh, there is no symptom with uh, systolic blood pressure decreased, uh, it is tolerable. At that time, uh, trapping with STA, MCA, double anastomosis is enough. Uh, if it is intolerable, uh, we usually do trapping with high flow bypass is required. We usually use radial artery graft for high flow bypass uh, because uh, uh, saphenous vein graft tend to be occluded by thrombos. Uh, in that case, uh, we did a balloon occlusion test and uh, uh, occluded by balloon of light ICA. Uh, left CAG uh, revealed uh, good collateral flow from a cone, and also a uh, light vertebral angiogram uh, showed uh, a good collateral flow from P cone. So uh, we judged it is tolerable, so I did trapping with STA, MCA, double anastomosis. And uh, there is another controversy, uh, which is better, trapping or proximal ligation. Uh, proximal ligation is technically easier. 
but proximal radiation only can cause uh, embolic stroke after surgery uh, because thrombus is formed inside the ICA and the occurred embolic stroke. So I prefer trapping uh, just, uh, just proximal of PCOM. Uh, this is post-operative uh, neck MRA. Uh, ICA was occluded at the origin. And this is 3D, uh, 3D CT angiogram. Uh, ICA was trapped at the proximal portion of PCOM. And uh, both branch of STA were vis uh, well visualized. One branch is anastomosed supracerebrian, M4, and another branch is anastomosed uh, infracerebrian M4. Uh, next, uh, large or giant MC aneurysms involving bifurcation. Uh, we usually do trapping or clipping with STA, MCA, double or single bypass. Uh, this case, a uh, 72 years old female, uh, also incidental aneurysm. Head MRA showed a uh, large aneurysm. Uh, the diameter is more than 15 millimeter. And this is MRI. Uh, there is a thrombus inside the aneurysm. Uh, so this is large throm thrombus aneurysm. And this is a, a angiogram of this aneurysm. This is right CAG, and this is 3D angiogram. Uh, this is M1, and this is inferior trunk, and this is superior trunk. Uh, aneurysm involving superior trunk of MCA. And this is video of surgery. And this is M1. And this is M2, superior trunk. And this is aneurysm. The wall of aneurysm was very hard uh, due to calcification. <clears throat> and behind the aneurysm, uh, we can see inferior trunk of M2. Hmm. This is M2. Uh, the, the warp aneurysm is very hard and involving the uh, superior trunk of M2. So it is difficult to spare the superior trunk of MCA. So I decided to do STA MCA anastomosis before creeping. Uh, this is frontal M4, this start of superior trunk. Uh, sometimes, it occurred to anastomose another branch. Uh, so it is important to verify the recipient is this cell of trapped artery. And this is uh, frontal M4. <clears throat> and visualized with uh, pyroctanin. and clamp the M M4 by clips. And cut the uh, M4. And this is a parietal branch of STA. Uh, at first, make a stay suture. It, this is almost the same method uh, of Moema disease. <clears throat> this time, uh, we made uh, five suture 
in, in one side. And check the potential by Doppler. And go back and and then uh, uh, at first uh, uh, M1 and M2 uh, was temporarily clipped and uh, cut the unusable wall and uh, remove the thrombus because we I cannot see the uh, infrared trunk of M behind the aneurysm. So, and then uh, clipping was made, spare the uh, infrared trunk of M2. Uh, aneurysm has, is involved super trunk and uh, it is very hard. So I cannot spare the uh, superior trunk uh, now, super trunk was occluded, uh, but uh, uh, direct anastomosis is uh, functioning, so it is no problem. And we remove the thrombus of, uh, inside the aneurysm. And this is the post operative image. I had the MRA and the 3D CT angiogram revealed the good patency of uh, anastomosed STA. Uh, here is STA lateral branch. And the next uh, VA dissection or aneurysm involving pica uh, that required trapping or coding with OA pica anastomosis. Uh, I found a uh, uh, small treasure. And this video is a uh, uh, surgery by Suzuki Sensei. Uh, 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 Pica aneurysm. And this is a recurrent case after calling. So Pica is involving aneurysm. Ah, sorry, uh, aneurysm involving Pica. So at first, Suchi Sensei make uh, OA pica anastomosis. And now dissecting OA. Uh, o occipital artery is running a deep layer of muscles and it is uh, winding. So uh, the dissect dissection of occipital artery is more difficult than STA. This is Bouye and this pica. And here is a, a coil. Uh, before creeping, uh, Suchi Sensei did uh, OA pica anastomosis. And this is a, a tonsillar portion of pica. And this is uh, OA graft. Suzuki Sensei is left handed, but he can use both hands. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Yes. Uh, now, now Suzuki Sensei is right handed. Uh, OA pike anastomosis is uh, more difficult because uh, uh, more uh, deep situation, deep rotated than STA, MCA anastomosis.
uh, if uh, even such sensei, uh, mm, usually such sensei, uh, is there MCA bypass, uh, it takes about 15, around 15 minutes by such sensei, uh, but OA pica is more difficult. And after the anastomosis, uh, trapped the aneurysm. And this is the origin of pica. Um, this is post-operative angiogram. Uh, pica was trapped and uh, from OA to pica is visualized. <clears throat> uh, I, I also performed surgery for a similar case. Uh, this is another case, uh, 51 years old female, uh, recurrent after clipping and coding. And so uh, I'll group the, uh, at first I, I planned the OA pica anastomosis. And uh, after that, parent artery occlusion by cold embolization because there is a cold and creep, so it is difficult to creep the uh, origin of pica. And this is post-operative angiogram. This is OA and this is pica. And the collateral flow is very good. And uh, then uh, uh, the origin of pica was uh, occluded by coil embolization. Uh, this is the situation, uh, uncommon rare aneurysm. Uh, I introduce uh, the rare case, this is P1 aneurysm. Uh, this is a ruptured case, uh, cause SAH, and DSA revealed uh, light P1 complex aneurysm. Uh, this is partially uh, bulging and stenosed. And maybe uh, this portion is uh, a ruptured point here. So, oh, sorry. So I uh, I plan the STA, PCA, anastomosis, and trapping aneurysm. And this is subtemporal approach uh, with lumbar drainage for decompression. Uh, this is STA uh, parietal branch. Uh, elevate the temporal lobe. And this is tentorium. And this is midbrain, and uh, here is uh, SCA, and this is fourth nap, and uh, this is third nap. And uh, this is uh, P2, this is SCA, and uh, this is rupture point here. And uh, behind the third nap, there is a, this is P1. And also uh, here's the bursting. And cut the arachnoid. Uh, here is P com. So this is P com and uh, P2. And this is P1. And here is rupture point. <clears throat> and also uh, bursting. Uh, at P1, uh, the, but uh, this wall of uh, vessels is uh, uh, certainly hard by calcification. And also behind the P1, there are uh, perforators. So we decide uh, trapped uh, distal of P cone. This is ST branch of uh, uh, parietal branch of STA. Uh, uh, make a, a fish mouse.
and and uh, this uh, p uh, i from the anastomosis p two and trapped and just this star of p com and and just this star of uh, rapture point. And this is a temporal creep. And now start the uh, STA, PCA anastomosis. Uh, STA, PCA or SCA anastomosis is the uh, most difficult technique uh, because uh, uh, this is very deep location and also very small corridor. So it is most difficult technique. And after anastomosis, uh, check the patency by Doppler. This is STA, metal branch. And uh, this is uh, the start of uh, anastomosis. And uh, check the patency by ICG angiogram. Aneurysm is trapped here. <clears throat> and this is a uh, post-operative angiogram. And this is left, uh, left VAG. Uh, P, P2 is occluded here. This is creep. And this is right CAG. Uh, ST is uh, running skull base of middle horse and uh, anastomosed here, uh, P2, uh, the star of trapping point, and uh, PCA is well visualized. And no infection revealed in uh, MRI. Uh, we can anastomosis everywhere of the brain. For MCA territory, uh, is the MCA anastomosis or high flow bypass using radial artery graft? Uh, for HCA territory, uh, also using STA, uh, we can do direct anastomosis. And PCA and SCA, also using STA vital branch, we can do uh, anastomosis. Uh, and for ICA or PICA, uh, we can do we can anastomosis using occipital artery, and also uh, PCA territory. Uh, uh, this star PCA, uh, I can make OA PCA anastomosis. Uh, in some patients with BMA disease, uh, PCA is also uh, affected. So sometimes I did OA, OA PCA anastomosis for when my disease patient. Uh, this is take home message. Uh, bypass technique is useful in challenging complicated aneurysms. 
Uh, every intracranial artery is able to be anastomosed using STA, OA, or radial, radial artery as a donor artery. Thank you for attention. All right. Uh, arigato gozaimasu, uh, <laughs> sensei. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, before we start the uh, discussion, I want to say hello to my professor, Professor Sri Maliawan. Hello, Professor. Uh, Dr. Benny, he uh, also joined here. Uh, Dr. Ahmad Adam. Dr. Adam. Uh, Dr. Adam is also uh, Chief of Neurovascular Section in Indonesian Neurosurgical Society. Dr. Hendro, also here. Uh, my teacher, Dr. Saiful Sandin from West Sumatra. Uh, Dr. Mirna, Dr. Rizky, and another, uh, our senior. Okay, we start this discussion. You can ask uh, by directly. Uh, or you can write in the uh, chat. Uh, okay. Please. Host, ada pertanyaan? Mungkin Indra. sudah ada. Ah? Okay. Dr. Dr. Indra. Ah. Nice to meet you, Dr. Selamat Indra. Siang. <laughs> Selamat siang. Thank Terima kasih much. supportnya. Uh, you... giving us the very important uh, information due to uh, our uh, skills and knowledge about uh, neurosurgery. So I just want to appreciate all of the lecturer from Japan, also from Indonesia, and also the participant, especially for Dr. Aprianto and team. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Andrew. And maybe uh, Dr. Abrar. Dr. Abrar is uh, chief of uh, neurosurgery, especially is a, a cerebrovascular surgeon in National Brain Center. Dr. Abrar, do you have the question? Dr. Adam? Okay, uh, for the uh, waiting uh, the question from the participants, I want to ask uh, to Takasu Sensei. Yes. Takasu Sensei. Yes. Uh, the first uh, question is uh, how to how to decide uh, how to choose what kind of anastomosis in the moya moya especially in a pediatric case. Mm. Uh, based on the imaging before your surgery, because you know, uh, sometimes we can no much, uh, uh, no much uh, information from the CT angel. So how do you choose, uh, how, how do you decide it with the uh, anastomosis? Or you decide it and, uh, during your surgery Please. Uh, uh, yes, uh, it's a very uh, important question. Uh, now, we do not do uh, DSA and 3D CT angiogram before surgery. Only I did MRI and MRA. The original source image of MRA is very, uh, may, uh, uh, it, it has a very good information. Okay. Because there is a, a brain tissue and uh, uh, peripheral arteries. So I decided the uh, uh, recipient artery in uh, original source image of MRA. Okay. Just usually, for MRI? Yes, just MRI. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, is a, uh, is a, uh, uh, it occur if, 
if you decided the before surgery, if you decided a kind of the anastomosis, uh, sometimes it's so different uh, in the during operation. So hmm. you must decide it uh, 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 another anastomosis, uh, such hmm. as uh, uh, Adams or STMCA or another kind. Please. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> uh... Uh, the, at the such sensei period, uh, such sensei uh, do only indirect bypass uh, less than four years old mm. uh, because indirect anastomosis is, is uh, well developed. Mm. Uh, but there is a, a one problem. Uh, sometimes uh, the small children in small children uh, there's aggressive mammal disease, mm. so. It is important to a uh, rapid improvement of uh, CBF. So now I did I did uh, direct anastomosis for also in uh, small children. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, such as a period, uh, more than 40 years old adult patient, elder patient, uh, such sensei did only uh, STA MCA uh, double anastomosis without indirect anastomosis. Okay, uh, but now I did uh, both direct and indirect anastomosis only if, uh, even for elder patient uh, because uh, uh, ischemic patients, uh, even in adult patient, uh, indirect anastomosis is well developing after surgery. Uh, but uh, a hemorrhagic case uh, present, presented with uh, ICH, uh, that case uh, usually indirect bypass is not developing. At that case, we did only uh, direct anastomosis and only EMS. Okay. Uh there is uh, some question from the participant. Maybe uh, can can ask can uh, answer from uh, both of you. Uh, the the first question from the Bintang, uh, Bintang Cristo Fernando. Uh, before you do the anastomosis, did you flush the vascular with papa with papaferin or heparin? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, we use uh, uh, both heparin and uh, papaverin. Uh -huh. mm. uh, especially for in Moema disease patient, uh, the artery is very easy to uh, spasm. Spasm, so, I see. Yeah, so we, at that time, I use papaverin to enlarge uh -huh. the vessels. And also uh, using uh, heparin. Uh, what uh, what time minutes. what time before surgery? What time before anastomosis? One minute or ah uh, no sorry uh, uh, I I I use heparin only for washing. Uh, what, oh what, yes, what um, Yeah, okay. no, not intravenously. Okay, okay, thank you. And the next uh, question from the Dira Aman. Uh, he asks uh, about what you use the CT perfusion or. MRI perfusion for evaluation? Uh, evaluation of CBF? Yeah. Uh, yeah we, we usually do SPECT. You use uh, both of or just a CT perfusion or the MRI perfusion for evaluation no. after you uh, did the uh, bypass? Uh, we, uh, we usually do uh, SPECT, SPECT uh, before surgery and uh, just after surgery. I oh, don't just... use CT perfusion or MRI perfusion. Oh, after, after surgery, uh, one day after surgery or some some hours? No, uh, I usually do uh, just the next day of surgery. I did next CT day. scan and MRI and SPECT. Oh, MRI uh, perfusion by MRI and, and SPECT? Yes. Uh, do you uh, didn't uh, angiography? No. Or we, we, ne we never do. Uh, I never do 
a DSA for Moema patient. Oh, okay, I see. And next, uh, from the Dr. Abrar, how many percentage the bypass failure? Pardon? Bypass? Yeah, bypass failure. Failure? The failure, uh, yeah. Almost zero. Almost mm. zero. Both yeah. of the Moya Moya and the Anurisma. Uh, uh, after the surgery of Moema disease, the patent, patent of a direct bypass is uh, uh, good just after surgery, uh, but several years after, uh, especially mm. in uh, pediatric cases, uh, direct bypass is uh, uh, gradually uh, decreased, and uh, indirect bypass is developing well. Sometimes okay. occurs. Okay. Uh, how how long? If we did the bypass uh, in uh, anurisma, how long the anurisma uh, will be decreased uh, from your experience? In anurisma case? In, in anurisma. Oh. Uh, mm, uh, for uh, one high year? flow bypass, high, high flow yeah. bypass using. Uh, uh, yeah, happiness main graft. Uh, sometimes yeah. that is uh, occluded by thrombus. But uh, uh, we usually use radial artery. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it is a very good. Uh, it has very good patency, I think. Okay, you you did uh, take the radial artery or saponous artery by yourself or by your team, or you ask. Uh, uh, Vascular it is, surgeon. It is case by case. Oh, uh, case by case. I, I can I can do harvest the radial artery. Uh -huh. and, uh, by yourself. Uh, uh, cardio cardiovascular surgeon. Okay. Uh, uh, do <laughs> harvest. Okay, I guess. But uh, I see in uh, when I spend my time in uh, Nagoya, Suzuki uh, do it by yourself. Ah uh, yes yes. Uh, yeah. Anything. Suzuki do it. <laughs> okay. uh, right. And also uh, Anastasia Pesen, he do by your by his. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's uh, from Dira Atman. Uh, is a fasudil therapy used in all of this vascular condition? Fasudil. You know the fasudil? Ah, uh, fasudil. Uh, ah. Yes. Uh, the patient with the subarachnoid hemorrhage. Uh, after clipping surgery, we usually use fast gel uh, uh, for two weeks. Or oh, for two weeks. Yes, for prevention of spasm. Okay. Uh, any question from the participants? Okay, well, I will ask question, Dr. Apriando. Sorry. Okay. Okay. okay please. Sorry, I've just joined. Oh. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Professor. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you, Dr. For your very nice uh, presentation. Nice to meet you. Uh, uh, how long do we put the temporary clip for, for example, for anosomosis? anosomosis? Uh, how long uh, you put the temporary clip for the safest uh, way in uh, anosomosis? Yeah. Anosomosis. Um, uh, usually, uh, we. We do around 20 or 25 minutes. Uh, 25. It takes uh, STMC anastomosis. Uh, but uh, uh, for uh, for example, uh, STA PC anastomosis, it is uh, very difficult. So it takes more than 50 minutes. But there is there it it not occurs infarction. Mm. Mm. Uh, Does it need any? Uh, monitoring, for example, intraoperative mon intra uh, monitoring. No, I don't use. Okay. Uh, maybe I, it much. is uh, important. Uh, uh, high flow bypass, it is a, a problem to uh, cramping period. So at first, I made a STMCA bypass uh, for M2 portion. Mm -hmm. And then, 
uh, high flow bypass was made in uh, made made uh, high flow bypass was made. So after uh, during the clamping of MCA, uh, STMCA bypass was working. So uh, it prevent uh, ischemic complication. Akasa Sensei, you yes. mean uh, you perform uh, the STMC anastomosis and the free pep uh, radial artery is, uh, I mean, the same uh, day's operation, or I uh, mean, uh, you perform the STA first, yes. then hmm? the same yes. day? Yes, same day. At so, first, I made uh, STA MCA bypass at the M4, uh -huh. and then Cramp the M2 and made high flow bypass. Mm -hmm. So, according to your experience, uh, uh, how long the um, fail of the vascular uh, free flap uh, graph for, uh, for the, uh, uh, Yeah. Uh, in, in the radial. Yeah, about 20 or 25 centimeter. No, I mean, fail, fail of the operation, fail of the uh, revascularization with the free flap uh, from the radial or venous. Makara? Makara, in radial or? I, makara was saying. So how you how you uh, uh, according to your experience, uh, how how often that uh, fail of the surgery you perform the free flap uh, using the radial uh, artery graph or the venous saphenous graph? Uh, I mean during your operation according your uh, experience. Maybe. Uh... Susi Sensei uh, said, uh, "How to uh, fail fail the percentages of the uh, radial artery by uh, using the radial artery to the high flow? Is it? No, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, according your experience, uh, because uh, it's a, a high uh, fail of the uh, high flow using the free flap." Right, uh, Sakasu Sensei? Free flap. With the radial and the venous uh, artery, ah, right? Yes, a free, oh. free, free artery graft. Yeah, yeah free artery yeah. graft. Ah, yeah. Okay. yeah, free artery graft. Yeah. Ah, free, free artery. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, we usually use a heparin. Heparin inside the artery. So, uh, so uh, if uh, the free flap is uh, more difficult to to re anastomose the uh, the uh, is, um, uh, so you using the prepar uh, heparin what heparin uh, yes yes uh, I think uh, it is not 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 so difficult uh, by free graft. No, I, I, I didn't uh, 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 doubt about your ability to to perform that. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> the graph that the graph is uh, it's a free flap. There is no uh, vascular anymore, right? It's uh, different that uh, we using the SCA or the uh, occipital artery. That's a physical flap. They yes. have uh, still yes. have uh, vascular, right? Mm. So, yes. uh, uh, according your experience, uh, uh, how uh, how you feel about the using the radial and the vena? Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, there, uh, there is a one difficulty using free vessel graft. That sometimes uh, twist the vessels, and that is uh, that cause uh, occlusion. So. Mm -hmm. After the mm, what's gonna penetrate the uh, vessels, we, yeah, pe pedicle, we pedicle. usually fill okay. with uh, heparin and uh, uh, not gonna avoid twist. Twist, reverse. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I see. Okay, next question. 
Dokter Dokter Abrar Any question? Dokter Sensei Ya, yeah. Dokter Wayan, please Yes uh, Takasu Sensei, hi yes. Good afternoon Good afternoon Konnichiwa Uh, what is your uh, tip and tricks to prepare the STA donor because of yeah for us to you know or much experience like that it is uh, difficult for us to prepare the STA what is your tip and tricks to prepare the donor please? thank you oh. hmm. tip and trick for the STA MCA yes uh To harvest the STA, uh, we uh, it is easy to uh, make uh, incision just above STA. Mm -hmm. uh, that is more easier to harvest STA. And uh, mm, uh, and uh, mm, and the. Only just above, uh, only dissect just above the STA. And uh, mm, that the lateral side of STA, yeah. there is uh, many uh, small branches, yeah. so easy yeah. to breeding. So only just above the, uh, only separate just above the STA. And uh, the, the side of STA, coagulate and cut. It is an easy do, do, method. Do, do you need uh, a local anesthesia like that? Or? Do you use a local anesthesia? No, 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 no. General no. anesthesia. Do you so still the Do you still ah, use? Don't use. No, 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 no. Do you still use the Doppler to identify the lo local local localization of the ah, no, no. Uh, STA? I I I, 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 I use only finger. <laughs> oh, um. in in. In the Boston. This is uh, for, for the, uh, this is the Suzuki Sensei. Yeah, method. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sensei, finger. Finger you is know, better than Doppler. No, no. You know, in you know, in 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 the Boston, in US, uh, the the the, uh, the surgeon uh, still use uh, Doppler to ah, identify yes, the location yes. of the STA. It's yes, so yes. difficult. It's so difficult yeah. if you don't familiar with the location of STA. But I believe it. You and Suzuki. Can do it, <laughs> <laughs> but finger is finger is better. I, I yeah, think. <laughs> the finger is better. But if the STA is a very very small, it's so difficult to pop ah. up. Uh, it's so difficult. Mm. So maybe mm. for the beginner, uh, uh, mm. I suppose to use the Doppler. Yes, yes, to that's right. localization is is more easier. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. Yeah. But maybe I don't it takes more more time to check the STA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a speaker. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Subarashi. Subarashi des. <laughs> okay. Uh, next uh, question from Dr. Abrar. Maybe we have the... Oh, yeah, from Dr. Abrar. How do you think about emergency embolectomy? Uh... Do you uh, in Nagoya? Uh, I have never ex experienced because uh, now uh, endovascular fibrinolysis is uh, developing. So oh. hmm, I have never. Hmm. But actually, uh, some doctors do uh, direct em embolectomy, but I, I have never. Hmm. Uh, because uh, uh, endovascular fibrinolysis is uh, more rapid, so mm. it makes uh, uh, more good result. Okay, uh, Dr. Abra, uh, maybe you can ask the endovascular surgeon in Nagoya <laughs> in, in Daini. Maybe next, maybe next lecture, we okay. invite the endovascular surgeon from uh, Daini. Which yes. name? Uh, Dr. Shintai. Who is name? Shintai. Oh, Dr. Shintai. Yes. Okay. The next question from the uh, Dr. Uh, Jordan. Uh, he asked uh, maybe for the Takasu Sensei, is there an up 
death treatment for infarct stroke. Hmm. How about the infarct stroke? How about Caprianto? How about treatment? What is an update treatment for infarct stroke? Pardon? What is the update management? Management? Yes, what is the update management for infarct stroke? How about the cerebral infarction? Infarction. Ah, okay. yeah. Do you uh, do you date the uh, anastomosis? Yes, uh, of course. Uh, the the ICA occlusion or MCA occlusion or MCA stenosis. I usually do uh, STA MCA direct anastomosis. Uh. So, how many percent successful for that kind of the operation for the I mean, like the uh, geriatric uh, uh, patient in the ischemic stroke? Ah, uh, that that means uh, emergency case. Mm, uh? No, I mean ischemic. I mean, ischemic. Uh, uh, how many percent uh, successful about the uh, operation for, uh, anastomosis for the ischemic stroke in the uh, adult or uh, in the geriatric patient? The geriatric. Uh, yeah, uh, no. Uh, STMC anastomosis is a uh, very good. Uh, indication for ischemic patient and uh, um, almost uh, all case we can do uh, anastomosis but uh, uh, the important thing is uh, uh, selection of a patient so uh, how to make um, uh, uh, make a selection of the patient uh, yes uh, the best uh, candidate for that Yes, and uh, the best method is uh, inspect uh, the uh, check the CBF. Mm -hmm. uh, it is better uh, both uh, list and uh, diamox mm -hmm. uh, spect. That so, is better. So, according your uh, experience, uh, there is a. I still remember that uh, there's a red uh, uh, appearance and the yellow appearance, right? The yellow one in the PET scan. The yellow one is a uh, hypoxia, right? Ah, yes. And the mm. red one is the uh, uh, anoxia, right? So, anoxia. Uh, mm. I still anoxia. remember that Suzuki Sensei just uh, said that, uh, the result that uh, even the red one and the anoxia, um, Area is uh, um, more uh, is get the uh, effect after anastomosis, but uh, I didn't uh, collect the data for that. So can you explain for that uh, how many percent for the yellow area um, uh, getting better to be a green one, and the red area uh, getting better to be a yellow one? Wakara. Sensei? Mm, yes. Uh, no. You mean the, uh, the decrease of CBF I, is I, uh, bad or not so bad? That's me. I, I, uh, yes. Uh, the severe decrease of CBF, uh, there is a more risk of uh, hyperperfusion. Yeah. Sometimes hyperperfusion occurs uh, uh, ICH. Only hyperperfusion, that symptoms is uh, improved within two weeks. But if uh, hemorrhage occurred, that is the uh, most uh, big problem. So we, uh, uh, we control the blood pressure lower uh, after surgery. 
usually uh, systolic blood pressure is uh, lower than 140. And uh, uh, post operative spect shows uh, hyperperfusion are usually controlled less than 130. Mm -hmm. It is uh, many days to uh, control uh, less than 140 for the ah. typical one. Usually one week. Oh, that's enough. Uh, and and then, uh, if there is a uh, that's mm, to, uh, sometimes hyperperfusion caused a transient neurological deficit. If mm. it occurs, uh, we usually uh, control the blood pressure uh, after, uh, after the symptom is improved. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the symptom uh, mm, uh, more than two or three weeks. Mm. At that time, we control the uh, blood pressure a long time. Mm, okay. Hello? Uh, yes. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. Uh, Takasu sensei, maybe Hi. this uh, last uh, question for you. Okay. Uh, from the Bintang, uh, Dr. Bintang. He asked uh, if in 25 minutes you didn't finish suturing the anastomosis, how many minutes you open the temporary clip and clip it again to continue the suture of the anastomosis? Uh, uh, usually continue the suture, oh. not, open the, uh, not open the temporary clip. Yeah, it's dangerous. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, maybe, usually uh, the ischemic patient and uh, the longer cramping period is not cause not infection because mm. uh, already uh, ischemic brain. So there is a, a collateral flow. So maybe tolerable uh, yeah. long time uh, temporary, te uh, long time cramping. Yeah. But I think sometimes uh, uh, aneurysm case is sometimes a, a problem. So uh, yes. Uh, in our institute, uh, a resident, sometimes residents do anastomosis for uh, arteriosclerotic ischemic patient do anastomosis. It takes more than 30 or 40 minutes, but uh, that not caused infection. Okay. So you want to say it, if you cut the vessel, you must do it. Yeah, you, you cannot back. Is that is that right, uh, Sensei? Mm, pardon? The cut if the you vessel. if mm. you cut the vessel, if you open the vessels, mm. uh, you must do it finish. You must finish the anastomosis. You cannot got you cannot you cannot open the clip or the return uh, back. Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's me. Uh, so before you before you mm. do it, you believe it with your skill. Hmm. Yes. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Take home said. Sometimes so, cut the uh, vessels, but uh, mm, yeah, I I can suture. Yeah. So it's no problem. Uh, okay. Uh. Uh. Any question? Okay. Uh. I see your video. Uh, it's uh, interesting. You suturing one by one. You su you su uh, when I spend my time in Nagoya and as an assistant, the Suzuki sensei, the Suzuki suturing the wall and mm -hmm. tight one by one and tight suturing, tight and cut, suturing, tight and cut. But I see your video, you suturing. Hmm. And cut your suturing and cut, and finally you tie. And yes. the last option, yeah, it's a is it a new technique or uh, the same technique uh, with the sensei Suzuki? Wow. It's the same, same technique, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, and uh, 
for STMC anastomosis, it is uh -huh. same technique. Oh, same technique. Yeah, but uh, sometimes uh, uh, that uh, STAPCA anastomosis, uh, that is a uh, very deep location and difficult. So uh, that case, I, I you, one by one suture. Yeah, one by one or? And, yeah, yes, yes. One by one or the last, uh, after you cut all of the suture, you continue a type by, by, by one by one. Uh, I, I see uh, you uh, suture and should uh, cut the suture and uh, insert the now and cut this the suture and finally you type one by one the the suture. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. That, that's right. That's right. Yes, right. Yes, it's, right. It's, it's different with uh, Suzuki Sensei. Oh, really? So <laughs> yeah, Suzuki Sensei uh, suturing and cut and type and suturing and next is uh, suturing and type and cut. Which, oh, really? which, uh, yeah, it's really. <laughs> 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 mm, what, 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 which one they effective? Uh, I see how the uh, state, state suture that is a uh, one by one cut, uh, one by suture cut, cut, type. and finally you type. Yes, yes, yes. And, ah, okay. Uh, the side. side uh, Sucha cut, sucha cut, sucha cut, sucha cut, and tight, 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 tight. Tight, tight, tight. Yeah, <laughs> I see. But but uh, Suzuki, I see a one by one, tight. I have cut. Oh, and yes. one I cut. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, you can you can see the 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 all the video of the Suzuki Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe. Uh, uh, no question uh, from Dr. Agus. Any comment, Dr. Agus? Uh, Dr. Agus, Agus Sunyanto, please comment. Dr. Mirna, any comment for this lecture, please? I'm sorry. I okay. Was like, okay. I Hi, was nice like picture. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice picture. <laughs> this is this picture. Uh, well, I, I uh, yeah. Andrianto took it well. Professor Suzuki uh, ask uh, take take us to Nara uh, oh. to go sightseeing. Yeah. <laughs> like 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 father and girl. <laughs> It's very nice to see you again, Dr. Takasu. Yes, it's my surgery, so I have to take a shower. So, <laughs> thank you. I, 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 I was late to join this meeting. Thank you, Dr. Aprianto. No comment, but it's wonderful talk. Thank you for joining okay. us. Thank you. Arigato, good so much. Uh, so, uh, Takasu Sensei, uh, Dr. Mirna, Hi. now. Uh, Dr. Mirna, now is uh, Chief uh, Pediatric Neurosurgery in Bandung. Oh, really? Oh, is uh, many many uh, did uh, pediatric cases. Yeah, yes. Uh, who is a pediatric neurosurgeon in Nagoya? In in Daini? Uh, I I I I did. Oh, you did. Hmm. Just but, uh, but there is not special... so many cases in Japan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Special <laughs> in 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 vascular pediatric case. That's right. Yes, yes. I see. Okay. Uh, I think uh, no questions. Uh, and finally, we are going to end of this uh, webinar. And we, the alumni uh, Suzuki, uh, want to say thanks for the Professor Seki. Uh, is a support this activity, uh, Dr. Uh, Takasu uh, is uh, willing to give the lecture, uh, Dr. Susi and all my senior in the alumni group Suzuki. So what the Professor uh, Seki said is not uh, just first lecture, maybe the next lecture 
about the endovascular, about the tumor, and maybe uh, from the Nagoya and another uh, institution. So finally, I said thank you for the participants and please fill the and and the seminar fill the form uh, to get the certificate. Thank you. Uh, arigato gozaimasu. Send our best regard to all of staff of Nero Sajen in Nagoya. Hey, Dr. Rizky, my uh, senior, please, any comment, Dr. Rizky? Okay, Dr. Aprianto, thank you. Nice to meet all the participants. Thank you for Takashi Sensei. And this webinar is very good. I hope still continue. Thank you. Hi, Regato. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Takasu, we hope you uh, can also uh, uh, can visit to Bandung. <laughs> like what the Suzuki Sensei did. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. After you, COVID. <laughs> After COVID, uh, yeah. you can get you can get the anywhere in Indonesia uh, by mediate, mediated uh, by the alumni fellow. Okay. Maybe you can visit the Bandung, uh, yeah. uh, do the surgery, especially in cerebral vascular surgery, ah, yes. uh, to Medan, Jambi, all of the uh, place in Indonesia. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, you thank you. You, you. you promise. You promise to ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you, you should spend one month in Indonesia, Takasu Sensei, because <laughs> many days to, uh, to visit. Okay. <laughs> Not enough for the three days, okay? Okay. Maybe, maybe uh, someday after COVID, we alumni or uh, another uh, Another uh, uh, visit to uh, Daini. Uh, yes. Uh, to improve the, our skill about the cerebral vascular surgery. Yeah. But thank you. Also already uh, visit Bandung, right? I pick you, pick you up with the Dr. Iwan Desiawan, right? And <laughs> ah, yes, yes. I remember. He's the policeman, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, but, <laughs> come, come, come to Bandung. Come to Bandung and did. Uh, and do the bypass surgery. Uh, yes, yes, I want. Uh, Anurusma surgery. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Doctor Doctor Adam Doctor Ahmad Adam is uh, head of uh, as the head uh, of a division of vascular surgery. Mm -hmm. I I think he is um, uh, have the he has uh, many many cases about the aneurysm. Okay. 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 Any uh, anyone to comment? No, Sabarasi. Ah, thank you. Okay. Arigato. Arigato. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, sayonara. Thank you.